Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make house pet videos here on Good and Plenty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. What? What? Yes, believe it or not, Good and Plenty has merch. I cannot believe I am saying this right now. I am so excited to announce that. Oh my gosh, my phone. I have these cute little t-shirts and then we have a cute little hoodie thing and a crew neck and then we also have stickers and mugs. I am like so excited. Goodandplanty.store. Please check it out. I ordered all mediums because I like a little bit of a baggier fit and it all worked out really well. I would say it's like pretty true to size, I guess. I just want to say a huge thank you in advance to anyone that orders from the shop or even just looks around. It really means so much to me that you want to support me in that way. Of course, there is no pressure. If you cannot support me in that way, I totally understand. And there's a lot of free ways to support me as well and I appreciate everyone but for those of you able to buy some merch I'm just like extremely thankful for you and yeah check it out goodandplanty.store okay so now that that exciting announcement is out of the way let's jump into the repot with me today we are doing a q and A. I got too many questions to answer so I kind of like narrowed it down and went with the popular picks and also ones that I just thought were kind of fun for me I'm just gonna pop behind my little station right here and we're just gonna jump right into it I tried to I really tried to put in a lot of questions with some variety so I'm gonna try to like breeze through them while still being like I don't know talkative I guess the first plant that I do want to repot is let me get her I have this Rex begonia that you all are probably familiar with if you watch my videos and then for my propagation video I have a bunch of propagations from her and I don't think I'm actually gonna put her in a larger pot. I think I'm just gonna put in some fresh soil and also stick in the propagations because this soil is like really old. First question from Jerry's Jungle. Everyone should check out Jerry's Jungle, by the way. I love her account. It is so aesthetically pleasing. Um, she asks, you're playing the Desert Island game and can only bring three plants, what plants are you bringing? I would definitely bring my Syngonium Albo for sure. That is like one of my favorite plants ever. Obviously it's in my logo. I would bring my Peace Lily because it reminds me of Jonah because he got it for me for my birthday. And then I would probably bring my Monstera Deliciosa because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I could grow it into like a shelter or something. It is so huge. <laughs> Next question. What's your zodiac sign and do you have any other favorite interests apart from plants? So I'm a Scorpio. I don't know if that's good or bad for you, but we're amazing. So I hope it's good. As far as other interests, I of course have other interests. Uh, plants sometimes it feels like they rule my life but they don't <laughs> I would say a lot of my interests are kind of on hold because of the pandemic so I've really been able to focus in on houseplants me and Jonah are like extremely into the this is gonna sound so hipster but we're like very into like the local food scene of Philly we love trying out new restaurants we love Whenever we can, getting to know like the people behind the restaurant, um, we've met some cool people that way. Also, I do like, um, okay. I do really like the arts and dance. Like I used to work in that industry until I got extremely sick of it. Yeah, I would say those are my other interests, but obviously I can't enjoy those as much because of the pandemic right now. How are you feeling? Ugh. Ooh, that's a cute question. I am feeling so much better, thank you. Some of you may know that I was in a bit of a rut and luckily like I am feeling a whole lot better. I don't know what happened, but I feel better so I'm not gonna question it and I'm very happy. <laughs> Okay, begonia all done. This one took a minute, but it look how full it is. And now it's like the whole pot is full. It's not really just one side. I think it looks great. Put her in her little cover pots. Oh! Next I have, I have a few questions that involve Jonah and he's so cute. He was like, 
you know, if there's any questions that involve me and you want me to like come in and help you answer them, like you can let me know. So <laughs> we're gonna bring Jonah in for the next couple questions because he's adorable and so supportive. While he's in here, I'm gonna go ahead and repot this recovery Syngonium Pink Illusion into a four inch pot. Her roots are so, oh, yes, yes, ow, ow. You did it when you get in place and shit? Oh, yeah. This is like supposed to be part of like the product placement. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the studio. So you can help me answer questions while I continue to repot. Okay. Our first question is how long we've been together. We hit six years in January. How did you meet? And I, I want you to tell the story of how oh, we met. I will happily tell Wait, you like, the real Wait, the full tell story? Oh yeah. Is that too scandalous? Let's be real here. Tell it with grace. With, <laughs> with grace and dignity? <laughs> yeah. I forgot, I was just thinking about, oh, we met in English class. <laughs> Kat and I were in high school. We went to the same high school. We were in high school. We met in English class. Kat is lots yeah. of time for character development. Yeah, changed a lot over the last six years. And uh, I had a girlfriend at the time, or I think I got a girlfriend after meeting Kat. <sighs> Kat wouldn't leave me alone. Oh please! <laughs> yeah, right. So, Kat was in a sense my side partner. Yes. For a brief, for a brief moment. moment in time, <laughs> and then six years ago, and then I broke up with my girlfriend, and and, and I, I said, no, I don't oh, want. Oh yeah, yeah, don't forget about that part. I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to date you. But I nagged her. Um, but no. I nagged yes. her so much. Oh, so much. And Me. <laughs> this is a full family experience. Jesus Christ. Meek, do you mind? Hey. Meek. <laughs> Meek. Meek. Can you yo. back up? Meek. Go. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Yes. 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 Eventually, Kat gave in and said yes to dating me, and she's never been able to escape my grasp since. Aw, look at the three of us. Oh. On my end, it was like I fell in love with my best friend. That was kind of what it was like on my end. Mm. If you take away all the bad stuff. All the fun stuff. <laughs> okay, I don't know what kind of lesson you're supposed to take out of that, but there you go. We had another question. Oh, how do you like living with your boyfriend and how do you plan your living spaces together? I thought this was such a unique, good question. Such a unique, good question. What do you mean? First of all, well, first of all, this is repotted. This is still a repotting video. Doesn't it look great, everybody? Yes! You wanna do boyfriend and then I'll do girlfriend? Well, they asked like how I like living with you. They didn't really like <clears throat> say like, how does Jonah feel about living with you? Uh, so the fame is already getting to you. <laughs> I really enjoy living with Jonah. I feel like we took it really slow. We did every possible increment there exists. <laughs> we, did, we did long distance. Then we went to going to the same college in different dorms. Then we went to living in the same apartment complex. Now we live in an apartment, but different bedrooms. And then next year, um, this year, someone asked if, if I'm moving and I am moving in August of this year and we are moving in together and it will be our apartment as a couple. So no roommates. No roommates, we're extremely excited. We love our roommates. Our roommates are fantastic. They're like genuinely friends of ours. They're not just like roommates, but we are excited to take that little step together. And I think A, living in the same apartment and having separate bedrooms should be normalized, I think, because that was great for our relationship. I f about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll bleep you. Uh, I think it's awesome. Um, but I think it's awesome because of the, situ the living situation yeah. we're in now. Like we don't have a lot of space. Yeah. So I think if we shared a bedroom now, yeah. and we also only have the limited amount of space we have now, yeah, we'd like break we'd, up or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, we'd definitely break up. <laughs> we would just be too on top of each other. Yeah, I, know, I think it's great living together. I love it. It's like a slumber party that never ends. Okay, 
I think that's it for the journal question. What? Just a small guest spot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, question. Any hints as to when the merch will come? I need it. Oh, this is a question we can answer together. Do you want to have children? Oh, Ooh. what a perfect question. Yeah, that's actually a great question to have you here for. Oh my God, tackle us. No! Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. But if anyone were to break on that, it would be me, I think. I dislike kids. I don't have the patience for them. No. I don't like the monetary sacrifice. I don't like the personal sacrifice. I don't like the relationship sacrifice. The sacrifice between me, Kat and I. Even if, this is what we always say. So if you're someone that knows us in real life, don't laugh at us. But um, I will say that even if I one day woke up and having kids was like really high on my like life list, if Jonah like genuinely wasn't into it, my perspective, and this isn't for everyone, but like how I think of it is like, I'm in the relationship for Jonah not with the intention to have kids. So for me, I prioritize our relationship over like wanting to have kids. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be with someone just because they want to have kids. I want to be with you. And I you love know? and I love that for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm like pick me Twitter. <laughs> Jonah, what do you think of the that? Yeah. She's something. She is something. Oh, I love me. Oh my God, he's being so cute. Okay, thank you for coming on the Good and Plenty talk show. Mm -hmm. It was great opening up this portion of my life. I'm trying to yeah. wriggle out of yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Just... We're still working on like the logistics of having guests. Yeah. So. Uh, the show? Yeah. That's horrible. Can you give me like a sip of my coffee before you go? Wow. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much for coming. I'm getting a call. Oh, speaking. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? All right, sorry about that. I had like 10 things happen, so took a mini break, but we're back. Next question, do you have a job outside of YouTube? And I believe someone else asked the same question and tacked on, uh, would you do YouTube full-time? I do have a job outside of YouTube. Unfortunately, YouTube is not my full-time job. I am a digital marketing associate outside of YouTube, so it is like pretty related. I would absolutely love to do YouTube full-time. That is like my big dream. I don't really have a dream job per se, but I think that I have a dream lifestyle and that is one of like flexibility, semi-stability. YouTube is not super stable, but I think you get what I'm saying. And like a lot of independence. And I think that YouTube can really give that to me. And on top of it, I genuinely love YouTube. I don't think that there's a point in doing YouTube if you don't like it. Otherwise, it's like a lot of work and very little reward in the beginning. It's perfect for me. There's no other way to put it. Like it is absolutely like the perfect job for me. I hope that I make good enough content to get to that point. You all have been so supportive in slowly getting me there. And I feel like every step I take, like the merch, for example, you all have my back. Like even in me posting the teaser for the merch, you all were like, ah, merch, like, yes, can't wait. Yeah, I think my content will also really reflect that change. Like I'll have more time to work on the content and I can share more of my life with you. I would love for YouTube to be my full-time job in short. I'm not passionate about digital marketing. <laughs> I have bamboo stakes coming in the mail. I They are supposed to come today, but with my luck, they didn't come before filming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stake them in once I get them. I'm probably gonna like give support to these little hanging ones. Um, and I think it'll be cute. Do you find plants help your mental health noticeably? Absolutely, hands down. When I'm feeling gross and I put music in and I water my plants and do plant maintenance for like three hours, I come out on the other end at least temporarily in a better mental space. Okay, we have one last plant to do together. My bat flower plant. I'm a little bit nervous to repot this plant while this flower is still forming, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Daya asks, on oh, Daya. Daya asks, 
favorite foods plants you'd never buy sushi my mom's borscht or pizza i don't know i'm gonna regret those answers later i'm gonna think of something better plants i would never buy i think i said this before but i don't see myself buying a philodendron pink princess like ever what did you study in uni i studied uh entertain what did i Entertainment and Arts Management at Drexel. I'm not passionate about Drexel. I'm not like, yeah, I went to Drexel. I really don't care about Drexel. Like, whoa, yes. I felt it in my bones. It looks like angel hair. Oh, my sister asked me a question. Do you wish you became a botanist? No, I do not. I really like plants being a hobby for me. I really try to keep plants fun. I try to keep YouTube fun, even though YouTube is kind of like a side job. These are two things that I am so passionate about that I am actively trying to not burn myself out with it because I have that tendency to like get super excited and passionate about something, go so hard with it, and then be completely sick of it. So I think I've been really good at, you know, maintaining a good balance. I think that if this was like if I studied it and took it really seriously, I don't know if I personally would be as passionate about it. Favorite musical artist, Frank Ocean. It's a little basic of me, but like I can't help it. Um, and then one last question. This one's kind of funny, but I don't know. I just kind of wanted to end on it. Do you like mayonnaise? Absolutely not. I think it's disgusting. And I, whoa, I will eat mayonnaise if it is incorporated into like the sandwich or whatever well but just looking at mayonnaise and like just smearing it around myself is disgusting to me so i apologize if i couldn't get to your question i tried to like hit the big ones and the funny ones so i thank you all so much for asking me questions every time i ask for like audience participation or whatever you all show out and really support me there so thank you if you want to check out my merch one more time go to planty.store it'll be linked down below and that's gonna be it for this q a repotting thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next next video. Bye!